my base I'm using the NYX photo loving primer which I just love I love the texture of it it's so silky it's like a silky cushion on your skin and can I just say, since I said out loud to the universe that I was really happy because I hadn't had any breakouts for ages, look, look what happened. Unimpressed is not the word right now. Right, next I'm using my NYX liquid, why do I keep saying liquid suede for the foundation? That's the lipstick. NYX stay matte but not flat foundation in nude and I am rapidly running out of this baby, so... <laughs> just gonna have to go shopping <laughs> then I'm still absolutely obsessed with these spectrum brushes I flipping love them so now we've got the A03 foundation brush it really needs cleaning I'll be honest And I'm going to be using my eyebrow brush from Primark, which has got the spoolie on one end and the eyebrow brush on the other. And my favourite brow product of the moment, which is the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. I use dark brown. Um, I am thinking of switching to um, a darker one. So I maybe want to go and have a look and see what they've got in some sort of darker shades. Um, I do need to go and restock on my Makeup Revolution uh, contour palette and um, I've used a couple of the blush palettes that much that the mirrors have come off and the, the lids have come off they really have been abused bless them so you know basically what I'm doing is justifying the fact that I'm probably very soon gonna go shopping for quite a lot of Makeup Revolution products um so yeah I will have a look and see if they've got darker well I know they've got darker so I'll have a look and get myself some darker eyebrow stuff so let's get cracking with them Exactly. can get them I don't think it's a particularly eyebrowy day they look a bit terrifying but I just haven't got the time or the energy or the inclination to be honest to sit here for hours on end doing and redoing my eyebrows so let's just go with it and hope that once the rest of the eye makeup is on they look slightly less scary all right so I'm using the makeup revolution flawless three palette I was obsessed with this over the summer and I want to do like a really nice burgundy look. So I'm going to do a combination of the Flawless 3 palette and use some of the pinky burgundy tones in there. But also my um, Matte Trimone burgundy eyeshadow that we got in one of the glossy boxes, which is such a gorgeous colour. So I do like to wear that whenever I can. So obviously... I mean, it's me, I am scatty as anything. I've now lost the insert with the names on, so I can't tell you what these are called. But I'm just going to use this one or this one. Um, I think I'm going to use this one just to start off with. Yeah, a link that. God, my makeup brushes need washing. <laughs> I 
Then I want to use this one just along my crease, which will hopefully give that a bit more definition as well. So just below where I just put the other colour. God, I love Makeup Revolution. Right, so this is where I'm then going to take this. It's the Balm Cosmetics one, and it's called the Matte Trimone. Like, he's called Matte Trimone. Get it? And it's gorgeous brownie burgundy colour, which I love. So I'm just going to use a different brush. All right, then I'm going to be using this Bella Pia um, Dust, almost really, in champagne. And it is the most beautiful champagne colour. And I'm actually going to use this Alio brush, which is just a flat brush. And I'm going to use a good old Tammy Clark trick. And I'm going to spray it and wet it with my Fiction Spray first. And this little bad boy is going on my lid. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is ridiculous! Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I think so. This is a look I've been trying to put together for ages and I couldn't quite get it right. I couldn't quite, like the products I were using just weren't quite what I had in my mind. So I'm so happy that I found this little Bella Pierre pot as well because it's absolutely perfect for what I wanted. I just think the contrast against that burgundy is so festive and so striking. It's fabulous. Right, so then I'm going to go back with the fluffy brush and just blend it a little bit. Then I'm going to go for my trusty contour brush from Primark and I'm just going to go back with the Matrimony shadow just in the corners. Just really, really super gently. Oh my god, I love it. I love it! Then I'm just going to take this one again and just run it under my eye a little bit just to bring it all down and bring it together. Then back with my fluffy brush just to blend that. And then I'm going to use my Spectrum Blending Brush, which is the B06, just to really, really lightly just blend the edges a little bit. Oh, well, I'm filming. 
filming this has just knocked you, you're wobbling, are you okay? Oh, while I'm filming this, I've had two notifications to say that we have new subscribers. So if that is you, hello and welcome. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this, just go and click on subscribe. We have so much fun. Right, so eyeliner. I'm going to stick with my trusty Soap and Glory Super Cat eyeliner. Love this one and I just know it will work. So, yeah. done things did 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 so now onto the waterline and i'm using my nyx the one with the really long name uh yeah i love this one and no it doesn't budge it will stay put all night yeah I'm using are the Iluwa lashes, the uh, 142 Exaggerate ones, and yeah, love me a big lash. Can't get me glue out. So, wish me luck. Good luck, everybody. Let's hope this goes well. Okay, okay. Right, they're on. So now I'm just going to put another coat of mascara on just to join it together, just in case there's any gapage. We don't want gappage. And then obviously, my bottom lashes. See, the eyebrows aren't looking that scary now, are they? Mm. Right, that is my eyes done. Next, it's all about the contour, and I'm using, for a change, my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette, which I desperately need some more of because I'm hitting pan on my favourite one. Then I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter and normally I've been using the um, Ice Kiss Highlighters but because of the gold tones in the eye makeup I wanted to make it a bit more special because it's a festive makeup look I wanted to make it look a bit more special so I'm going to use one of the liquid highlighters in I think liquid champagne this one is yeah this one is liquid champagne so I'm going to put this on and um, yeah let's get glowy I love these highlighters so much. I've got the Unicorn Elixir one as well, and oh my god, it's beautiful. So the trick with these is to put it on before your powder do not put it over powder and put it on with your fingers that's the best and just let it set for a minute as well it feels really wet when it goes on if you put it over powder you will have a nightmare it kind of takes it all off and you end up with a stripe of bare skin um but if you kind of just dot it on with your fingers and just let it set for a minute it will work wonders and it will behave so so well at this point i tend to use a damp beauty blender and just go over it a little bit And what we're going to do is go over this with uh, the blush. I will not go over it, but we're going to put the bl blush on afterwards as well. So it doesn't kind of look too blinding. But 
I mean, let's remember, kids, that this is our Christmas party. This is our festive makeup look. And so we want to sparkle. And I tend to pop the ice kiss over it then. So once I've done this and once I've done my blusher, I kind of give it a little bit of an ice kiss over the top of well. Of well. <laughs> I mean, look at that, isn't it pretty? I like that! Right, where is my blusher? So again, it will shock you, I know, because I never use these products, weird. Um, it's my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. Look at all those beautiful, vivid, pigmented, gorgeous colours. I love them. And I'm going to use um, this one today, actually. I have been using the Spectrum blusher brush, but I don't want... I only kind of want a really little bit of blusher because the lip's going to be really powerful as well. So I'm just going to use a smaller fluffy brush. And I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this one, which is a beautiful um, pink... Sort of a dark peak pink. Peak, peak, pink, pink peach is what I'm trying to say because yeah, I just want a pop of healthy skin colour rather than boo, a blusher because I want the eyes and the lip to kind of stand out in this look and I don't want the blusher to take away from that. See, it's all coming together now. Right, I'm going to be going for a burgundy lip and I've chosen for that the one of the NYX liquid suede's which for me are just the best matte lipsticks out there. I love them, absolutely love them. And I'm using the Dark Soul NYX liquid suede lip liner. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Suede in Vintage, which I've worn a couple of times on videos. And every time I wear it on camera, I always, always, always get a comment off one of you guys. So, this will be why it's my favourite then. So this is my festive party makeup look with my burgundy and gold um, situation going on there. If you want to see the hair that I do with this look as well, that is coming up in another video. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you've got your notifications switched on so you don't miss that. Thank you so much for watching this one. Thank you so much for all the positivity and the lovely comments and um, messages that I've been getting from you. It's been so nice of an evening to sit down and reply to comments and reply to messages and yeah it makes me so happy that you're all enjoying this as well so make sure you subscribe if you're not already make sure you come back tomorrow for another video and take care of yourself in the meantime